Welcome to Star Trek Trekkie Tracker. This is the application that if you're a true Star Trek fan, you've been waiting for. This application will give you the tools you need to track everything you watch, whether it's the movies, the series, the ready room, all of the after shows, before shows, documentaries, and of course, most importantly, the things you discover along the way in the Star Trek universe, whether it be on YouTube, on a, on a CD, in a box set, and you can share what you find with other Star Trek Trekkie users in something I call My Treks, which I'm going to tell you a little bit more about in the second video in this series. There are three short videos. Please watch them because you're going to find that you won't live without this application if you don't download it from my website now. So, Star Trek Trekkie Tracker is based on Microsoft Excel. It works on the Excel platform, so you have to have the Microsoft Excel installed. And once you open it up for the first time, this is what you're going to see. The bridge. Logical. From the bridge, you can see what you've watched, when you watched it, the name of the program, and you have access to all of the um, menu controls, which includes access to the movies themselves or the shows themselves, as well as a lot of other statistical and uh, analytical data. So let me take you to, for example, the statistics screen. If I open up statistics, here you can see basically in a breakdown, in a visual graphic form, what I've watched. This is my personal database. So working from around the top, you can see how many episodes I've actually watched. This does not include repeats and favorites. It's purely how many episodes. So I've watched 318 episodes out of 864 that's currently available. And that includes everything. Lower Decks, Picard, you name it, every single series. And it's updated regularly when a new series is announced. And I'm in the process of updating it at the moment now for Star Trek Continues. I discovered Star Trek Continues the other day when I was going through Facebook uh, and joining all the Star Trek groups so I can give you all access to this spreadsheet and hoping that you don't think that it's spam because it's not, it's something that you really want. So I'm gonna add um, Star Trek Continues, which of course is based on the original series very soon. You can see here in the bottom left that I track the other material. You can see the total count so far, graphically indicated as to what I've watched. Quantity of actual movies, would you believe? I'm a Star Trek fan, but I've only watched three of them so far. Might have watched them earlier, but didn't remember. And of course, how many favorites you've watched as a percentage of what you've watched, and how many repeats you've watched as a percentage of what, you, of what you've watched. So if you've watched something three or four times and you just absolutely love it, um, it'll be represented there. The good thing is that when you watch a show, let's for example open up Picard series, you'll be presented with what apparently looks to be and basically is a spreadsheet. You'll notice down the bottom that the Picard control room is open and you will see whether it's been watched, whether it's a favourite, you'll find statistics on the duration of the program, when its first air date was and so forth. And if you click on the actual title itself, that opens a hyperlink which will take you to the fandom website and you can read more information, of course, including spoilers on the episode that you've chosen. And of course, you can also see notes on the episode that you've made and you can see how many times you've watched it. In this case, I've only watched um, the Ready Room once. And if I scroll up here, you will see the episodes of Picard series one that I've watched. I watched the first one twice. Um, and uh, as you can see there, I've made a comment about E.T. Uh, in Arcadia, Ego Part 2. Absolutely amazing. Um, uh, and I've made some notes about how um, we wouldn't be human if we didn't die. Uh, it beautifully ends TNG and Data's death and deals with the mortality of an aging Patrick Stewart playing Picard. Absolutely brilliant. There's another series of Picard coming up. Series 2 I've already included on the spreadsheet. But of course, if you um, put yourself on my mailing list, uh, every time there's an upgrade to the program, you will receive it. The other brilliant thing is that when the program is upgraded, 
Um, you don't lose any of your data. There's an export-import procedure to manage your personal files, which I'm going to talk a little bit more in the third video um, in the series. So you've got the statistics, you've got access to each of the sheets. Um, you can have a look, for example, at a summary screen. And on the summary screen, this is the complete overview of Star Trek and everything that you watch it. Up the top, you will see the each of the series in their categories. And you will see when you last watched something in that series uh, as a general entry. And you can even decide if the series is your favorite or not. In my case, the next generation was the original reason that I started all this. And I have the box set, which I don't know what to do with because everything's streamed beautifully on Netflix now. Um, but I can't bring myself to throw out or, or give away my TNG box set. And then I was thinking, how do I track the movies? So the movies are tracked by title. And again, you manually enter when you put the date on it. And again, you can indicate how many times you've watched it, if it was a favorite. And again, all this data automatically adds to your, um, to your summary. So this is what the bridge looks like. That's what the spreadsheets look like. You find out when the application was last updated, the last program watched, favorites, everything's here. If you wanted to, you can press full console and then you'll notice that down the bottom of the screen, all of the tabs become visible. So if you want to go through and you want to check any of the particular episodes, TNG, you know, um, the animated series, which includes Lower Decks, um, the original series, which is going to include Star Trek Continues when I update the database very soon. Short Treks, of course, Discovery, Enterprise, Picard, Value Added Material, it used to be on disc, Documentaries, My Treks I'm going to talk about in a minute, and a few other fantastic things. Take a look at video two and learn all about what My Treks is really about. So, I'm Simon. I hope you download Star Trek Trekkie Tracker and try it out soon. Live long and prosper.